Today's install, we're doing a printed vehicle wrap. Now this is going to be on a box trailer. This box trailer has been prepped, cleaned, and even some areas have been sanded prior to this installation. Now when you're doing any type of printed vehicle wrap, there was a whole design process that went into this prior to the installation, prior to printing, prior to any of this. The designer had to mock up a design and try and get everything to flow from panel to panel. So that's what me and One Productive, Jesse at One Productive here are doing, is we're laying out a game plan. How is it supposed to line up? And how is each logo supposed to meet up and blend seamlessly with each panel? Now my goal with this install is to help get everything aligned and proper and in its place without overstretching or distorting the design. I didn't have any say when it came to the design or what kind of film it was printed on, but as a subcontracted installer, my goal here is to perform and give results, but also make sure that the mock-up of the digital design looks identical to the physical installation. Now, before you go ahead with any install, you should know what kind of film you're installing because I would have known to bring a tag reducer. As you heard on that last clip, the film that this design was printed on is extremely tacky, extremely. So with the film being that tacky, and especially on a warm day like this, that increases the difficulty of installation substantially. Right now, me and Jesse from One Productive are getting this game plan set in stone. We're tackling all the difficult areas first, like these lights on the bottom and that door handle that's on the left side. If you don't tackle the difficult areas first, you're going to run into issues with alignment. You're going to back yourself into a corner and get wrinkles and again, misalignment. So tackle those parts first is what we're doing. Lock them in and then again, reposition all the flat areas. Flat areas are easy, so you don't want to do those first. And when doing any type of printed wrap, not only just vehicles, but buildings, walls, floors, glass, all of it, storefronts even, you need to speak and communicate well with your fellow installers. If you don't communicate properly, there's always going to be issues with alignment. There's always going to be issues with, okay, who's doing the rivet? who's doing the difficult parts, who's doing the flat areas, and who is prepping for the next panel to get laid. So there's a lot of factors that tie into a printed wrap install, more so than a color change install. Those are very easy because it's a single solid color. Unless you're doing a livery, then that also plays the same part as a printed wrap, where there's a design that has been mocked up prior that needs to be met on a physical and a material level. But I still want you to remember that communication is everything, not only just in business, but in your personal life. If you don't communicate, there will always be miscommunications and possible errors. Current progress. Awesome, the back looks great. Coming through. Now coming around to the front end here, there was some design alignment issues. So we reprinted it and finished the install on the same day, as well as the top end of the vehicle. Nothing on this install was misaligned, crooked or overstretched. So we were all satisfied in the end with the product. And now we're on to the next project. Thanks for stopping by.